Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the Recreateful channel. My name is Divya and in today's video I would like to show you how you can DIY a zip up hoodie. In this video I'm going to share my exact patterns with you so you can either follow along or you can adjust yours to make them bigger or smaller however you wish. Just for reference, the patterns that I've created are roughly a size M in menswear. So let's get started! The first step is to draft the patterns. For the first pattern I simply started with a rectangle that was 10cm wide and 44cm long, which is the middle part of the hood. For the side pieces of the hood I start with a 32cm long vertical line, from there I measure 22cm to the left and 5cm rub. Then I connect my marking with my line to create an angle. Using a ruler I'm creating two lines that are shorter than the hood itself and connect them with a slight free-handed curve. The next piece is the back, which is 56 cm wide and 65 cm high. The sides are 36 cm high and the neckline is 16 cm wide. I then simply connect the side with the neckline. Lastly, I freehand a little curve to the sides for the sleeves. For the front pieces, I basically create one half of the back piece, however this time I mark 4cm down from the neckline and 3cm from the shoulder and connect the two with a slight curve. For the sleeves, I start with one 10cm long horizontal line and mark 72cm down from that. I make the bottom of my sleeves 30cm wide. From the top, I mark 25cm down and use this point to measure also 25cm to each side. I connect this with the top of my sleeve and then freehand a slight curve to connect this with the bottom. And these are all the patterns. The side front pattern has a slight lower neck as the back piece as you can see here. For this DIY I used a 60cm long separating zipper and 2 meters of fleece lined jersey. And for the sewing I used ballpoint needles. I cut all my pieces out twice besides the back piece and the middle part of the hood. I also added some seam allowance. The first step is to connect the two side pieces with the middle part to create the hood of the jacket which then looked like this. Next I hemmed the outer edge of the hood by folding it over twice. I sew all along the edge of the hood which then looked like this. Next I attach my front pieces to my sleeves like so. I then attach the back piece to both sleeves and of course everything is sewn right sides together. So basically this is how you need to connect the two front pieces with the sleeves and back piece. and you should end up with this star-shaped piece of fabric. Next, I close the sleeves by folding the piece in half and matching both sleeve sides together and sewing all along the underarm seam and the sides of the front and back pieces. Once the sleeves are closed, I'm attaching the hood to the jumper, making sure that the center of the hood matches up with the center of the back piece. I then cut some elastic to fit comfortably around my wrists and sew it into one loop. This will be attached to the bottom of the sleeves, so I turn them inside out and place my elastic over the sleeve. I fold the sleeve over, hiding the raw edge and enclose my elastic in this fold. Once that's done, they look like this. Next, I hem the bottom of the hoodie by folding it over and hiding the raw edges inside.
I am basically creating another channel and I made mine about 5 cm wide. This stage you can also include some pockets, here are the measurements that I used for mine. I cut this pocket out twice with 2 cm seam allowance. I then hemmed the curved side by folding it over once and sewing all along the edge. To attach the pockets to the hoodie, I'm placing them onto the bottom of the hoodie, folding all raw edges over and sew along all of them besides the curved one of course. Before attaching them, I quickly double check if they are even. And once they are attached, they look like this. I can now insert the elastic into the bottom of my hoodie. I cut the elastic to be a little shorter than the hoodie and feed it through the channel by using a safety pin. I sew a straight line onto the channel to secure the elastic. I then continue feeding it through the channel and also sew it to the other side. Now it's time for the zipper. I simply separated both zipper halves and attached them to each side of the hoodie, right sides together. I recommend using a zipper foot if you can. Once the zipper is attached, I top stitch along the whole zipper so it won't flap open. I am also closing the zipper up by folding the hood edge over it and sewing that down. The zipper ended up looking like this. Cut off any of the excess fabric behind the zipper. Lastly, I decided I wanted to line my hood, so I took some leftover fabric and cut out more hood pieces. I've sewn them together and simply attached this to the inside of my hood. I just fold all raw edges over and sew all along them. This then ended up looking like this. And lastly I fold the bottom over and attach it too. Once that's all attached, my DIY hoodie is finished and here is the final outcome. I am extremely happy with this outcome and it is surprisingly easy to do. I would recommend to add plenty of seam allowance when cutting the fabric. You can make this hoodie smaller or bigger or longer or shorter as long as you keep the ratio of those parts that are connecting the hoodie into one piece. Thank you so much for watching.